Good morning, you guys, and welcome to week four of prep. We are officially into week four of prep, and today I want to take, I want to take you guys through one of my glute workouts. I'm training legs three times a week right now. Two of those are glute focused primarily, and then the other one is like a full lower body day. And I love starting off my week. I love starting off my week with a glute workout in general, but just with the way that my split is. Kind of having to be split up right now. It just works out that way anyway. So starting off the week with a glute workout, I'm actually waiting on my check-in feedback from my coach, Megan, to see if my cardio is getting increased or not today. I feel like my... I feel like we're just gonna do a double whammy again and drop food and increase cardio because that's kind of been the trend with every single check-in so far um, with prep, but I do have to do cardio today as well. So I, right now, as of right now, I'm doing five days a week, 30 minutes per session. And like I said, I'm waiting on feedback from her and it's more than likely going to get bumped up, I would imagine. Maybe not. Maybe it'll stay the same for this week. Thinking about starting to do fasted cardio in the mornings, just so I like don't have to be downstairs in the basement for like my whole workout filming plus doing cardio on top of that. I'm down there for like two hours minimum. And then now with my um, cardio just going to continuing to be increased, I'm thinking about just like banging out my cardio first thing in the morning, eating breakfast and then doing my workout a little bit a little bit later. So that's kind of what I'm probably going to start doing. That's what I did the last time that I was in prep for like a month. I would do fasted cardio in the morning and then eat and then do my workout later in the day. Starting this week, I will do that, but I don't know. As of right now, haven't done anything yet today. Um, making my like little pre-workout cocktail, if you will. It's literally just a caffeine packet and then creatine. Um, I don't take pre-workout much anymore. I do have some tubs of pre-workout, but I just like don't take it. I don't feel the need to. I feel just fine with the simple caffeine packet. I used to have to take pre-workout all the time, every single day that I would work out. I felt like I wouldn't have a good workout if I didn't have pre-workout. I'm so happy that I stopped becoming dependent on that because you definitely can have a good workout without having to take pre-workout. But anyways, I just need a little boost in the morning, a little pick me up. There's no way I could do a workout without caffeine though. I'm not at that point. Um, but this caffeine packet is only like 100 milligrams of caffeine, so it's nothing crazy. Oh my God. It's nothing crazy. Um, <laughs> Where I've talked about it time and time again. It's I literally just get it from hy -Vee. I'm sure that you can get it on Amazon. Um, but this is the... It's pomegranate lemonade. It's so fucking fire. It is so good. Anytime that I get myself ice to put into my um, drinks, I have a little guest. Or three over here. Come here, Vinny. Yeah, so... They also get ice cubes every single time, and we're, we're working on gentle. Most of them have it down besides Jersey, my little shit fire of a dog. Gentle. Good. Gentle. Good. Gentle. Yeah, <laughs> that's so good. I don't know what it is, but these dogs love, 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 love some ice cubes. Some new pieces in from Gymshark, and I actually ordered like a lot of men's stuff this time around for like my monthly purchase because I do work with Gymshark. If you do not know, let me kind of check out, save me some coin. Um, but anyways, I ordered a lot of men's stuff this time around just because I like their like oversized like t-shirts and sweatshirts a little bit more than I like the women's. It depends, but I just kind of like how they fit and also the styles. It's a lot more like neutral and it's not like trying to do too much kind of thing and just like baggier and that's what I like. I just really want like a big 
baggy t-shirt to wear and just feel like free and like loose and comfortable in. So this is huge because it is a men's, um, but this is just, it's kind of like an acid wash t-shirt. And I think it says like Gymshark up here on the top maybe. Yeah, it does. So, and then I'm just wearing black Alphalete shorts, Amplify shorts. Um, I really just want to be comfortable whenever I work out and go to the gym. Well, go to my basement gym because the home gym is officially done. Like I said, there are a few more things I want to get for the home gym that I want to order. I just need to figure out like what piece is like the best piece, like quality, if that makes sense. I'm going to get a hip thrusting like box thing. I got that. So the Smith machine doesn't go down far enough for me to get like a full range of motion. And the bench that I have is too high up and so was the little box that I got. I haven't even used that box because I got the wrong size. I thought I was getting the right size. Anyways, I need a hip thrust machine that's meant for hip thrust. I've been doing those glute bridges, but like they're not the same as hip thrust. I haven't been able to do hip thrust comfortably with any of like the equipment or machines that I have. So I need to order something for that. Um, so home gym tour is coming soon at some point. Yeah, it's just like not completely done yet because I just want to get a few more like pieces of equipment, like little little things, not like huge pieces. Um, majority of it's done. I just want to get like a few extra things. But and I'm training legs three times a week right now. Everything is pretty spread out as far as volume. That way I can actually recover between my training sessions and be able to train legs three times a week like correctly and not like too extra fatiguing so i'm not doing like a shit ton of exercises or a shit ton of volume solely for the fact that i'm training legs three times a week and i need to make sure i have everything spread out properly so i can actually recover and grow so let's get into the workout show you guys everything that i do from one of my glute days this week and let's just get into it I typically would have done just like seated abductions, but I don't have that machine here at my home gym. So we've targeted the same muscle group, just had to obviously do it unilaterally and with a completely different movement. But targeting your glute medius up here, this specific muscle group will give you that quote unquote shelf look. And this muscle group too, typically is what a lot of bodybuilders lack in and kind of what I've been figuring out it has been a lot of girls' feedback is to grow more upper glute. Not for everyone, but a lot of the people that I have seen and watched and followed along their prep journey, show, all of that, always get told more glute medius. And I know that's different per person, but in general, I know that I also lack in my glute medius. I've never like specifically isolated it with the intention to like grow it like I've always had the intention to grow my glutes but not specifically like my glute medius mainly just like my glute max and like my lower glute like where my hamstring and glute kind of like tie in together um so yeah starting off with that kind of just like a pre-exhaust warm-up and now I'm going to be getting into my first compound movement which is going to be my good mornings typically you could do hip thrusts prior to your good mornings solely for the fact that hip thrust is going to be a shortened length movement so that way you can you know exert more energy and not fatigue your glutes as much so typically you always want to start with your shortened versus your lengthened exercises however given my circumstances with not really having a good place to like 
hip thrust or like not like a good setup to hip thrust, I'm gonna be able to get more out of my good mornings versus my like little glute bridge situation that I'm doing. So starting off with my good mornings on my V squat machine. I'm going to do a few sets of that and get on with my workout. First compound lift of the day. So let's get into it. Going on to our second main movement of this workout, and this is going to be glute bridges. You can do hip thrust if you have hip thrust, but glute bridge just works better for me, like I was saying. So this is my set. I my feet on here, which you guys will see, and then I just do a glute bridge. Really the same thing as a hip thrust, but different. So this is going to be my second main lift of this exercise. I did three sets on, three working sets on the good mornings, I did one warm up set. And yeah, now we're gonna jump into glute bridges. I'm gonna do four sets on here, just because this is a little bit lighter. I can't load this too heavy and still feel the isolation that I'm wanting to feel. So gonna do four sets on here and just jump right in. So. into our third exercise of the workout and this is going to be our accessory exercise and that is going to be step ups so personally i am not a fan of just like regular dumbbell step ups or easy bar step ups or something like that forming a movement like step up that's specifically trying to isolate for me example my glute i have no control over anything if i'm just like reloading a dumbbell and it's just like a very very poor choice in my opinion to be doing step ups without a machine for the extra stability and control so you can isolate the targeted muscle group so my specific favorite form of step ups as of recently have been on my v squat machine i also love doing it on the cable machine as well just because you don't have to worry about necessarily controlling the weight for example like a dumbbell or an easy bar you have to control that but when you take the control out of it and just let the machine control the weight and you're controlling the movement game changer for isolating your glutes for example so gonna go into this unilateral movement and then after that we just have one accessory lift it's gonna be hamstring curls and that'll wrap up our one of three lower body days for this week so let's get into it and let's continue demolishing our glutes. that is going to wrap up this workout my glutes and hamstrings are on fire it was such a good workout very simple very to the point however the intensity did not lack just because i'm spreading out my volume throughout the week doesn't mean my intensity drops my intensity is still there i'm still pushing myself training near if not close to failure like you guys saw just a reminder if your volume isn't super high and your workout does not mean your intensity is supposed to drop with it um, so make sure that you are pushing yourself and really getting every single little ounce of intensity that you can with every single rep and every single set. And yeah, that is gonna wrap up today's video. I'm still waiting on feedback from my coach, so no updates as of this video, but changes for my protocols are to come, so I'll keep you guys updated in the next vlog or in the next video that I see you guys in. And yeah, here's to week four in prep, and let's just keep freaking going. I will see you guys in the next video. Love you so much, bye.